Hey, and thank you for stopping by Nifty Thrifty Treasures. I'm Jennifer and I finally got my main account back. For those of you that didn't know, and all of a sudden I disappeared, it's because I got myself a new phone. I went from the iPhone XR to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And I, when I went to log back in, you know how it'll transfer your data, all your, you know, your apps and stuff to new phone. And when I went to log or go back into YouTube, I had to log back in. Well, I wanted to take me through a two-step verification process. I got through the first step, but the second step I could not get through. It didn't have the option to do this step. <clears throat> I had tried for a week after I got my new phone. I finally decided, well, I'm going to make up a new account, which I did. It had the same name. I posted some videos on that. I asked for a help from a fellow YouTuber. Thank you, Chi Town Girl. Um, and I did get some subscriptions, but <laughs> um, I gave it a break. I decided, well, I'll just do this new one and just start all over. And a few days ago, I decided, you know what, it's been a few weeks. I'm going to give it a try. And lo and behold, I could get through that two step process and I made it back on my old account. So I'm going to keep my new YouTube channel, the one I used temporarily for a few weeks when I had lost this one, and I'm making it my my vlog channel. Um, it is called My So-Called Life. I will link it below. So join me over there and subscribe over there. You'll, you'll get to see me out and about as a wife, a mother, and everything in between. Um, this weekend on Sunday, we're going to the lake and I might tape little bits and pieces of the lake. So yeah, um, I have a multi-store haul. I've got um, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and I've got one thing from Target and I've got Dollar Tree, of course. And I think that's it. Well, I do have one store that we have in the town, um, but it's not a store that's available everywhere. They just get a lot of discount store items in that didn't sell, and they um, resell it for cheaper. So I'm gonna start there. Did get this bottle of, it's called Zesty Paws Wild Alaskan Salmon Oil for skin health. Um, helps support n uh, normal skin moisture, perfect for both wet and dry foods omega-3 fatty acids with EPA and DHA. It's for your pets. And it's the big bottle, it's 32 fluid ounces. So I'm just gonna top this on top of the dog's food and see how they do. And then I got one thing from Target. <laughs> it was in their dollar spot or their bullseye spot. It's balloon animal erasers. I love collecting just different erasers. And it looks like that. So you got like a pink butterfly and a yellow, red, and purple puppy. But I thought that was pretty cool. And then I did go to um, Five Below and I didn't see anything I absolutely needed, but my daughter and I picked up a few of these. So these are the Skinny Dip Dark Chocolate Salted Caramel Cashews. I haven't tried them. I wanted to get through this haul. And then, <clears throat> From TJ Maxx, I got this, uh, it's a lick mat for Fergie. You put, put peanut butter on it and put it in the freezer for a few minutes so it hardens a little bit and then I'll keep her busy for a while. And then I also got, um, let me see. I think that actually that is it from TJ Maxx. The rest of this is um, what I'm looking at is from Marshall Home Goods. Found this, I should say my oldest one found this. It's the Golden Girls Talking Button. It says, pay tribute to your favorite comedy with this one of a kind talking button inspired by your favorite foursome from the Golden Girls. So, what the heck, that was $6.99. Then I found this Amaretto Chocolate Pralines, Milky Chocolate. Tried those, I've already opened them. They are very good. They kind of remind me of those at Christmas time, those chocolate covered cherries, kind of, in a way. And then I had to get this bag. It looks like cherries, but they're like disco balls. Love it. And then also from Marshall Home Goods, this was $24.99. It's from Cupcakes and Cashmere at Home, 100% recycled polyester. 
and they had it out. I missed it, this went viral last year. And it's the pink and white ghost blanket. So I got that. Now there's a pillow that matches this. And that pillow, it's, it's pretty big, but it's also $24.99. I thought for sure these blankets were like $16.99. Probably went up in price. I wouldn't put it past them. And then the rest of my haul is from Dollar Tree. I found these four pack of disposable paper cutting boards. I thought it'd be cool just to cut stuff and then just throw it away. And they seem like they're really made well, actually. Good um, paper, stiff paper. I just got myself a, a new plastic cutting board and a wooden cutting board, but I thought, you know, on the go for go somewhere, just bring them along so I can chop stuff up. Also from the Halloween, these are window decorations. And of course, here's that $1.25. I love the ghosts. Those are my favorite. And then I found calendars and I heard the calendars went up in price to $1.50 and sure enough, I see the sticker on there now. And I've got the Farmer's Market, the 2025 12 month calendar. And this is the only one I've been looking for because I actually, I tear out the each of the page with these on it, with the pictures on it. And I put it up in the collage frame from the Dollar Tree. And each month I have a different picture up there that goes according to what month of the year here so and another halloween thing this is a light and sound decor i missed this last year it went viral of course you have to put your own batteries in it and i forgot to grab some i might not i i don't think i'll use the batteries i think i'll just primarily use it as a decoration maybe uh, on a tiered tray and then for fall this is a buck 25 it's like these three book things. This says sweater weather, hello fall, and cool autumn breezes. And I really like that. And that's the way the top looks in the bowl. So, and then I got some food items. I found this Campbell's Well Yes Power Plant Power Powered Spiced Chickpea Soup with Spinach and Queen uh, Queenia. I know I'm saying that wrong, but oh well. So I thought I'd try that. And also, another soup ready in 20 minutes makes eight servings. It's a family size. It's Progresso Southwest style tortilla. Soup mix, just add water. Add eight cups of water to the six quart stock pot, whisk and condense some pa uh, package, bring to a boil, and reduce heat to low, cover and simmer for 20 minutes. And this is the only one I had, the only tortilla. And by Werther's Original, you know, limited edition. And I got the caramel apple. These have been out before every fall. And the pumpkin spice. These are really good. Um, we needed more toothpaste. We're getting really low. So I got the Colgate Anti-Cavity Fluoride Toothpaste. Sparkling weight, 60% more. And this is in cinnamon. And I found more of this Natural Sense Plant-Based Pure Castile Soap and Peppermint and in lavender and i have one in our linen closet that is almond i think there's a charcoal one out there so i'll be looking for that and then i found these are by sophie again a dollar 25 you know every package has these on there and i haven't seen these are little mini claw clips it's a two-piece and they, they're like roses so you got a black one and like this wine colored one i think it won't work with my hair my hair's too thick and I just fell in love. These call, they're calling these salon clips, four piece. And look at the little flowers, little roses. Got an ivory and red. And I hadn't seen people haul these yet. So I'm not sure if they're, I'm pretty sure they're new. And then the last thing I have is, is a six, six piece, non-toxic, draws thick and thin lines, school quality, made in the USA. These are by Liquid Mark Scented Washable Broad Line Markers. I'm going to do something. These are just for me anyway. So we'll see. They say they are scented. Red is cherry. Yellow is banana. Green is apple. Blue is blueberry. Black is, I thought for sure black licorice, but it's chocolate mint. And the orange one is orange, obviously. Mm, I don't know about that one. 
Let's try. Oh, the yellow one. Oh my gosh, that smells, it does smell like banana. The orange one, to me, it just smells like marker, regular, not scented marker. Oh, the red one, yep, smells like cherry. Green is supposed to be apple. Mm, kind of apple, kind of marker. Blue is blueberry. Oh, yep, yes it is. And the black, I thought for sure black licorice, and I hate black licorice, but it's chocolate mint. Wait, what? It kind of smells dusty, but I can smell the, I can, and that might be the mint part. I can smell the chocolate. That's really interesting. Huh, how cool. So these two, the one that's supposed to smell like apple, the green, I mean a little, but I get that just marker smell. The orange, no. To me, it just smells like marker, not flavor marker, just what a marker smells like. And guess what? That's the end of my haul. Like I said, a little multi-store haul, a few different stores in there. But yeah, um, otherwise, let me see. We had our daughter's, uh, oldest daughter, you know, was getting married in October and had a bridal shower a few weeks ago. And that went well. Um, <laughs> I ordered some cookies through High Bee Bakery and a bridal cookies. And I sent a picture from Pinterest to them. And the gal was so excited to make them, went to pick them up, of course, after the bakery had closed. And there's five different cookies on there. It was supposed to be uh, Love is Brewing, so it was supposed to be like a coffee theme. Well, it was coffee themed. Three of the cookies were. Two of them were baby themed. What I'm going to do is I'll post a picture on my community page and you guys can see the cookies. But it was for a bridal shower, but two of the cookies said baby. So we, we kind of, instead of love is brewing on the one cookie, it said baby is brewing. So we kind of had fun with that. We just went with the flow. Everybody had fun and laughed about it. And then a couple days after that, for the ones that don't know, uh, that weren't on my new <laughs> channel, my grandpa, the one I talked about a lot, that would be turn 102 in middle of August, he did pass away on July 15th. And his funeral was this last Friday the 19th. He was just a month shy of that 102nd birthday, but yeah. So we knew it was coming. He was in hospice for a week and we went and seen him the day before he passed away. And we just knew, even the hospice nurse said it'd be a day or two. And we got that call on the 15th that morning. So, but at any rate, like I said, I am so happy to be back on my main channel, but Check me out on my so-called life I will, uh, channel. I will link that below in the description box. Would love for to have you over there as a subscriber and my friend over there. Like I said, that one would be more, you know, about me as a person. I did a get to know me video, so go ahead and watch that. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, but that one is just going to be a vlog. You get to see me as a wife, mom, anything in between, you know. No rhyme or reason to it, just to have fun. I'll probably do some cooking videos and just cleaning and sit down and laundry and talk, to chat, whatever. Like I said, I'm going to the uh, lake this weekend, so I hope I have time to uh, uh, take you along on that as well. But if you like the video, give a thumbs up, comment and share, and please subscribe to my channel. I'd love for you to be part of this YouTube family. And until our next video, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, and as always, be kind. And bye for now.